Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to review some rules in Pega. Uh, for example, we're going to import a CSV file to a data type. As well, we're going to source a data table with that information of the data type. And as well, we're going to create an autocomplete search and a visibility condition for that. So thanks for watching and we'll start. So in order to import data to our data type, the first step we have to follow is go to our data type that we built the, the last video. So here uh, we're going to records and we're going to import the uh, CSV file that I'm already downloaded, that is this one. So we're going to click on next and here um, is how we're going to map the data, right? So, for example, the first name, it will go to my property that it will be first name. There it goes. Sorry about that. So, basically, the last name will go again. And we fill it up with all the data that we want to map. So, now that we have mapped all the data, uh, with the target and with the source, we're going to click next. Uh, another thing that, for example, if you want to, we can do different things within the data type. Uh, we can update if it's blank or updates the first is, the source is not blank. As well, we can use templates. We, in this case, we don't have anyone. But in this case, we're going to select always update and update all files. So we're going to click on next. Field to match with existing records. In this case, we have to like, for example, if we already have data on our data type, we can match it by an ID. So basically when we import the data, it will match the ID and it will update that row. Uh, so in this case, since we don't have an ID for this one, we're going to select, we're going to select the first name here. Going to uncheck that. For that reason, we get that error before. So we click on next and we can select the data, a name for the data import. Uh, we can, for example, skip validation or save import setting as a template. But right now we're going to start validation, right? So right now Pega will run is that was really fast. So all records are good. We don't have any invalid row. So we're going to continue the import. That's it. So we're going to click finish and we'll see all the data in our data type already, right? So this is very useful, for example, when you're trying to, where you want to, for example, build a list of countries or states or cities, you can import the data, you can search it um, in the internet or uh, you can Google it, for example, a comma separate value examples or uh, data you'll be able to find a lot of examples there and a lot of files, right? So there you go. We have all the information here that we want is about, is about 500 records. So this is a good source in, in order to start our application. So now we're going back to our flow uh, where we have all the process of our case. So we're working on the first assignment that will be a form to capture all the customer information. And in the case that the customer doesn't exist, we'll be able to have an option to add a new one. So in order to do this, we go into the flow action, we open it up, then we open the section rule, and we go to the full section editor, right? So here, uh, we'll, be able, uh, we'll be able to start working on uh, the form that we want. For this first section, the only information that we need is the customer information, right? So we'll have an autocomplete box to search the customer. And in the case that the customer doesn't exist, so basically we will be able to add a new customer, right? And capture all that information. So in order to start, we only go to um, data capture. Sorry, it wasn't picker. So here in autocomplete, we're going to open it up. We're going to have a property that we call a customer. We 
we're going to create the property clicking on the on the target so right now we only want to use this uh, property on the case type class right so we're going to create it so we, we're going to click save to save the property and there it goes so the next steps in order to show or in order to find the data for a customer is define a source right we can uh use a property a data page a clipper page or a report definition for this example since we already have all the information in our data type it will be very convenient to use our data page so we're going to click here and this is the data page for a customer go back to the section and we select and we put a data page so now you can use a parameters to filter the data so in this case so here in this field we can pass a parameter in order to filter the data that we're looking for and we're going to use it later on on another example for right now we're going to leave it like that so sorry i have to reference well because this will be a property i haven't created yet but it will be our ID. So here, um, this is how the results will show up, right? So we can filter, in this case, we're going to filter by the first name of the customer. So when we start typing, it will um, review the column of the first name and start looking for then and give throw us suggestions of the name that with the letter that we're typing right as uh, now the complete works then we're going to need the the pyid that i mentioned before so we have to and this one we're not going to show this value we're going to set the value on a property in this case, it doesn't throw me up the option of the target to create a property. Oh, there it is. Sorry. So we're going to click submit and we're going to test it up. So in this case, guys, I just noticed that I made a mistake. Instead of using the, the page data page, we have to use the page list in order to show the data in an autocomplete form. Yeah, so because the reason why is because for this data page, we are looking for uh, a specific information. So this require a parameter that is was the PAY, um, the global unique identifier, the one that we saw before. So it will return only one value, the one that we're looking for. If we want to have the complete list available, so in that case, we have to use the um, data page list, right? The, the page list for uh, or data type. So we'll continue. We will go back to the create order. It will change this information. So instead of use the data page, we're going to use the page list. Another thing is like the data page save data in a top level page. So for the reason it will let us, doesn't allow us to, to use it to source is only for save information or retrieve one um, item in a specific pass in the ID, right? So we're going to select this one. Uh, we're going to do the same steps we're going to filter by by first name and uh, we're going to use the py the global unique identifier that is the id of the element and we're going to set the id here so if we want to show different uh, fields we can do it for example we can um, use the last name as well And we can use the last name to search the values and to show it up, right? We want to have more accurate information. So we have all this set up. We're going to click Submit, Save, 
and we're going to run our pot arrow. So there it goes. This is our portal. Uh, we're going to, in order to create a new case, we only have to click the new, and then we have the case that we were just create. So we're going to start. We're going to start with letter C. So we're going to search for crease. We don't have any crease. We have a Christian. So basically we can as well search in and it will retrieve all the data that we're looking for, right? So this is very useful, for example, when, when we have a comp uh, an extensive list because we cannot use it a drop down. So the best practice will be use um, an auto complete, right? In order to start typing and it make it run the data page, the data page list, and it return the values with that specific search criteria that we're looking for. So there it goes. We already have this up to go. So we will continue with uh, the visibility condition for the next field, for example, for address, for the other information about the customers. So that's all for today, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. See ya.